Hello, this is Chris Pierce, and welcome to the Self Maintenance of the Brain and Body Podcast. This is episode 23 of the Self Maintenance of the Brain and Body Podcast. In this episode, I'm talking about a simple tip that will improve your sleep quality, and this is exercise. According to many researchers in the field of sleep medicine, including the Johns Hopkins Department of Sleep Medicine, 30 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise will improve sleep quality. If you're doing all you can to improve your sleep, including the many sleep tips I describe in this podcast series, and still are not achieving quality sleep, try adding 30 minutes of exercise to your daily routine. Science demonstrates that your quality of sleep and overall well-being will improve. Johns Hopkins Department of Sleep Medicine also explains that 30 minutes of exercise in the morning releases endorphins and and improves your daily alertness. I've personally dealt with sleep issues as I have obstructive sleep apnea and additional neurological problems impacting my sleep, but there is a noticeable decrease in my sleep quality and my mental well-being when I do not exercise daily. A few years ago, my reason or my why and motivation to exercise was to be as fit as possible as a soldier in the military. Now my reason or my why for daily exercise is to improve my sleep quality and my overall mental and physical well-being. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Behavioral Addictions found that daily exercise influences a change in the brain that that not only improves sleep quality, but decreases the symptoms of anxiety, depression, ADHD, addiction, and bipolar disorder. Exercise is essential for sleep, but when... You exercise and the intensity of your exercise is important to consider. High intensity workouts should occur any time from when you wake up until three to four hours before bedtime. Research suggests that intense workouts within three hours before your bedtime have been shown to impact sleep quality in a negative way. This is because the intense workout releases endorphins that impact the brain's ability to properly enter the various stages of sleep and increases the overall body temperature impacting sleep staging. When it comes to defining what intense exercise is, you can use your breath rate as a good metric. If you're exercising and unable to carry on a conversation with someone without catching your breath, this exercise isn't intensive. If you track your workout heart rate by zones, anything above zone two, which is 60 to 70% max heart rate, is not considered intense. Now, an easy, less intense workout before bed has been shown to improve sleep quality as well. But when you add the intensity, it begins to inhibit sleep quality. This week, I challenge you to add daily exercise to your daily routine. If you're already exercising, try increasing the intensity, as long as it's between three hours before bedtime, and you may also see improved sleep quality. This concludes this episode. Thank you for listening. Please tune in every Monday for another self-care tip. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and share it with your family and friends. Please check out my self-care book, Self-Health Andragogy, Self-Directed Learning Approach to Mental and Physical Self-Care. It's available on Kindle, print copy, and audiobook. You can find links to this book in the show notes of this podcast.